what's going on kind of an exciting day for me here today the super no booty as our daughter calls it is getting new wheels and tires so for me it's more than just uh an appearance thing granted i don't mind the way the 17 inch steelies look on it but uh it's more of a function so hear me out for a quick second uh when my dad retired he went out and bought a very nice 42 foot fifth wheel my dad has a king ranch f350 with just you know the standard ford bed on it and a drop-in hood hitch uh gooseneck ball i should say this truck with the flat bed is actually higher than his bed but i have a recessed ball but we're still a couple inches off of having the trucks the height of the rear ball exactly perfect now these are some pretty small like 30 inch tires on this truck yeah they do look a little goofy being it's a uh, super duty diesel but uh more importantly than the looks is I wanted to get some bigger tires on this truck just to move it up a little bit because the closer these trucks are at the hitch height on the gooseneck ball, the better it's going to be towing the camper. So that's what we were looking into. Uh, like I said, I don't mind the, the looks of the Steelys. I was going to have them powder coated. A buddy of mine started a powder coating company, but he's not up and running yet enough to deal with wheels. He's kind of busy doing other stuff. Now, I like the look of these crazy custom offset wheels and stuff. For me, it's just not practical. My brother has a really nice uh, Z71 Chevy, or GMC, I should say, with a uh, you know, leveling kit. He's got big tires on it. Uh, they stick out offset wheels with a big lip, and it looks fantastic. But for me, it's just not the way I want to go. I don't want to be throwing stones and mud up on the side of this truck. This is not a uh, Walmart parking lot queen. This truck does get used uh, pretty much every day. And most time is actually doing work. Another thing, we live down a 900 foot stone driveway. In the spring it gets nasty. I just don't want to be throwing all that mud up on the side of the truck. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go buy some bigger tires. So I was pricing out tires. And they're going to be for decent quality tires, 10 ply on this truck. Um, I think I was between 12 and 1300 uh, just for tires. I'm a big fan of the Falcon Wild Peaks uh, AT3s. I had them on my last truck. They do make a 10 ply that would fit this. That's what I was going to go with. And like I said, those are going to be 12 to 1300 bucks um, just for the tires, not even having them installed. So I got a look on Facebook Marketplace like I do quite often, and I found what I think is a fantastic deal. Uh, I found a guy on Facebook. He bought his wife a 2020 uh, F-250 Lariat uh, diesel, uh, and uh, they went to pick the truck up, and she said, I don't like the wheels. So he said, fine, go buy your own wheels. So the truck literally came home from the dealership. Uh, the next day, she took it to a tire shop, and he's had these wheels sitting inside his heated storage unit. So I got a hold of him. Uh, he had them for like 1500 bucks, and that was a good deal uh, for 1500 for wheels, tires, sensors, caps, and lug nuts, the whole shebang. And I was like, ah, I don't know. Couldn't make up my mind. So a few days later, um, I was doing some research online. You can buy factory takeoffs from some companies, and they're all between the 1800 to 2000 and then you have shipping. And I said, all right. So I kind of forgot about it. And a few days later, I was going through Facebook Marketplace again, and they popped up. He had dropped the price down to a grand. So I can't buy new tires for this truck for a thousand bucks, but I just bought brand new wheels, tires, sensors, everything for a thousand bucks. And he was 30 minutes from my house. So today I am uh, getting ready to leave here. Gonna run to my dad's. My dad went with me to pick up the tires with the whole arm thing. Uh, obviously, I'm not able to load uh, tires by myself. So we unload them at his house there today. I'm going to go pick my dad up, pick up the wheels, and we are going to head to the Ford dealer. Because of the tire um, sensors, tire pressure sensors, um, they said, hey, just go to a Ford dealer. It's the easiest way to get them reset. I actually called three other tire shops. So I like to shop around. And the Ford dealer was actually the cheapest place to get the new tires switched out and the sensors uh, program. So that's what we're doing. The wheels are 18-inch uh lariat wheels so they're kind of fancy they're not the pvd powder coated i had a truck with those on them and it's just basically a fake powder coat that peels off these are all machine clear coated wheels so i'm kind of excited hopefully it makes the truck look a little better um you know there's nothing wrong with that but uh performance wise and pulling trailers uh, i'd like to get this truck up a little bit and uh if i do still have to add uh a little bit uh 
of a two inch lift kit or leveling kit on it just to make sure it pulls the camper nice that's what we will do so gonna jump in the truck it's actually a, like a, a heat wave today it's uh i think 21 degrees out here right now um northeast winds kind of keeping it a little chilly feels that way but we've been like from zero to 12 to 15 degrees that's kind of been the last week we've been in that uh in that that uh temperature range so i'm gonna head out here but i'm actually excited to get new tires on the truck new wheels so we'll see what it looks like see you guys in a little bit Just like that, thanks to YouTube magic. Uh, if the MGM Grand or Bellagio want to call me, I'm available for shows in Vegas. I could use some warm weather right now, guys. But hey, just got back from the dealership. The wheels are on. Uh, I didn't measure the truck yet. I'm going to go out on the road and do that so I get an accurate measurement. And I'll let you guys know how much it raised the truck. But uh, the guy that put the wheels on, he goes, man, he goes, uh, that makes that truck look a lot better. And I said, yeah, wheels uh, on an XL, kind of like polishing a turd, but uh, I like this truck. I plan on keeping it a long time. So that's the route we're going to go. But uh, it's getting cold here again. I'm going to run home. Kiddo's getting off school soon. And uh, we'll catch you when I get back there. Plus, it's windy here, and I don't want to pick up any noise. Uh, we'll finish this up when I get back home. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's going to wrap this video up. So, first off, before I end this video, man, it's getting cold again. I want to give a big shout out to Diamond C. I did that video yesterday. I uh, didn't expect anything out of it. I was just thanking them for uh, sending me a hat because I had initially uh, sent those guys a message saying, hey, you know, I just want to say thank you for building a fantastic trailer. They sent me a hat and some other stuff. And so I just did a thank you video on that. Uh, this morning I got up and realized that they had actually shared that video. The company had shared it and uh, quite a few uh, views on that video so far. So again, thank you Diamond C for that. Uh, my wife just told me we're 10 away from having a thousand subscribers. Real quick, let me hit on that. I know there's been a lot of new subscribers here in the last couple weeks. So maybe tomorrow I was thinking of doing kind of a subscriber get up to speed video. There's been a lot that's happened uh, in the last year. But real quick, we started this channel uh, 11 months ago, right when COVID hit, as a way to show family and friends that don't live around here what we were doing to transform this old uh, kind of homestead farm, uh, trying to make it our own. We bought this place in March, and that's when uh, COVID took hold. And, you know, people weren't traveling, but we still wanted them to see what we were doing around here. And uh, this channel was originally meant just for... Kind of family and friends to check in and see what we were doing we never expected that i'd have videos that have as many views as they do we're small time guys we like it that way don't get me wrong i love every time we get a subscriber the kiddo really likes subscribers uh every day she looks to see how many we have but uh i've been getting a lot of messages in the last 24 hours of people saying hey uh thank you your content is great it's nice to see a fresh breath of air on youtube um, those mean the world to me guys um, and stay tuned for that video tomorrow I'll go a little bit more in depth about that and what we've done around here in the last year but little things like that Diamond C um, making a great trailer me saying thank you they sent me a hat me doing a video on that uh, has gotten me quite a few views on that trailer last night so along those same lines two companies I want to thank today uh, that I've dealt with today alone um, Tri Motors Ford in Oak Harbor, Ohio. Those are the guys that switch my wheels over. I always deal with those guys. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive for me, but they've always treated me right. Second one, um, my buddy owns a butcher shop. We, my dad and I stopped in there today on the way to Tri Motors. If you guys are anywhere in Northwest Ohio, uh, it's worth a drive to check out Hasselbach Meats on State Route 19, just uh, between Fremont and Oak Harbor, Ohio. Family-owned butcher shop. They've been around for a long, long time. And uh, their snack sticks, their jerky, their award-winning. Um, it's a father and son, and it was uncles, and it just keeps getting handed down. 
fantastic meat market butcher shop. So go check those guys out. But uh, I guess you can call this mod number uh, 1.5 on the truck. Uh, if you count the tent that I did when I first got it. But uh, I did take some measurements leaving my dad's house out on the road. Made sure the snow was off the tires. These lifted the truck about an inch and a quarter. And I think we're real close where we need to be uh, for pulling the fifth wheel. Um, so there might be some other things to go around. This is a 250. My dad has a 350. I uh, might be throwing a set of airbags on this. Uh, just to kind of keep it from squatting so much. But we will see. Uh, a lot of variables. Um, and the biggest thing is that the camper right now is hooked up for a fifth wheel hitch which is in the back of dad's king ranch and then we just got thinking uh it'd be nice to have two trucks so we're switching the camper over to run a reese goose box both these trucks already have goose neck balls you might as well go ahead and use them so that's going to wrap this video up i just ordered some movie tickets going to take the wife and the kiddo out tonight it is valentine's day weekend and maybe go grab dinner somewhere so Thanks to my dad for hanging out with me today, helping me move these tires around because the old uh, chicken wing over here uh, is not ready to do that yet. But uh, for being an XL, I like this truck more and more every day. And this just goes to show you with these wheels, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Take care. Thanks for watching. And I appreciate you all so much. Be safe.